Over 224,000 fires have ravaged the Amazon basin this year and 12 million hectares of forest have been burned. In Bolivia, over 2 million hectares of woodland and savanna have been reduced to ashes only in the past two months. The country deployed over 5,000 people to fight the flames, including firefighters, troops and volunteers. Seen from above, the forest surrounding the community of Tierra Hermosa shows an endless series of fires. It's been like this since July, across the whole of the Chiquitania region, in the department of Santa Cruz, the most hard hit by wildfires. Residents started fighting the flames by themselves, but even with the intervention of the army and volunteers, the fires are yet to be stamped out. We have gathered in groups to stop the fire. We go every evening and every night, but the fires continue to progress. Fires pass through the branches and because of the sparks, a fire can appear even 30 or 40 kilometers away from another one. We haven't managed to stop it. Among the possible causes of the wildfires, experts point to the ancestral practice of chaqueo, which is slash and burn farming. This year, it got out of hand also because of the winds and high temperatures. Nevertheless, locals say wildfires are hard hitting their livelihoods, which are dependent on farming and cattle breeding. We followed Eleuterio to his patch of land that had just burned the night before. This has all gone. It's like charcoal. This is what we sell in town and what we eat as well. Now I don't know what we are going to do. It's all like this. We've lost it all. A team of around 40 highly specialized French firefighters arrived early September in the region because of the Bolivian government asking the EU for assistance. This request triggered the EU civil protection mechanism. This is the first European team deployed to put out the fires in Tierra Hermosa. Our equipment is in front of you. A rake allowing us to scratch the ground and separate the fuels and backpack fire pumps. They are carried on the back and are filled with 20 litres of water. Water is difficult to transport up here, and therefore it's used very economically. The first team walked less than a kilometer into the forest before finding the flames. The blazes here are going backwards against the wind, fueled by dry leaves and branches. It might seem silly, but it's efficient enough for this kind of fire where the flames are not forceful. We have scratched the ground, we have taken away the humus and dry leaves. This means that if the fire proceeds further, there is nothing else to burn, there is only ground. It's a logistical challenge for the teams to move between the wildfires areas and their base of operations in San Ignacio. It took us eight hours back and forth on a 4x4 along challenging dirt roads. In San Ignacio, the EU based its Emergency Response Coordination Center. Eight experts from all over Europe have allowed the assistance to be deployed as quickly as possible. At first, we need to coordinate aid that member states can send. We help with the deployment of the units and equipment that is sent. We advise local authorities on the best way to use these teams and resources and also suggest the best ways to handle the emergency. The EU has supported Bolivia with equipment, teams and information like the latest satellite images coming from Copernicus. The EU Earth's observation program gives Bolivia instant data on the location and development of wildfires, which makes the fight against the flames faster and more efficient.